Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Role Builder YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to texture bigger objects. We've done things like trees where there's just two pieces, but uh, we have today quite a big model, okay? So I thought it'd be a good opportunity to show you guys how to texture bigger things. First things you want to do, UV editing, and then let's just press one so we can kind of get this. Oh, uh, we'll press, yeah, we'll stay, on, we'll stay on the front view. So we got this right here, okay? And I know I said I'll stay on the front view, but you know, hey, it's okay. It's okay, okay? All right, back view. This way we can see exactly what's going on. Uh, what we're going to want to do is press U and then project from view on this side, and it's going to show us exactly what we're looking at over here. We're gonna wanna open up our color grid. Perfect, there we go. And then we're gonna press A on this side to select everything and then G to grab it. And we could take it wherever we want. Now this is a chimney, so it's gonna be like a kind of grayish color like this. And I will be doing gradients. You can scale this however you want. You can make it literally nothing if you want it to just be one color. But I do want a bit of a gradient on it like this. And then we got to go right over here. Press new right here image texture and then click this little icon and do color grid or whatever your image texture name is and if you press z you can go to the material preview and see what we got going on now that's a bit dark i think so i'm actually going to move it over to this one and it's a little bit lighter now i'm going to go back into object mode and select the next piece press u project from view a over here and then we're just going to grab this and drag it along i'm going to make this a really light color something like that press new over here image texture click on the image go to color grid and there we go so now we have the little chimney um up next what we're gonna do is this little roof beam and this could go alongside this i think yeah we'll grab both of these since they're both kind of beams and uh i'm gonna just press one so we're at an even view like that and we're gonna go ahead press edit mode you project from view so this is what we got going on now if we want these to be kind of the same color we could press l on one object press g to kind of drag it up and this way it will be the same as the bottom half of this so everything underside will be the same color and top side will be the same color now we're going to grab all of this scale it in and for the color on this i think i'm gonna go with a gray still because it is still the roof so i'm gonna go with a nice gray to black fade something like this click new click on the little circle go to image texture click on the little image button and click color grid now as you see it only did it for one object so we're going to just go back into object mode click on the other one press one again you project from view make sure you have it selected <laughs> there we go and we're just going to have to do this again it should already be where you had it already so you just do it one more time click right here image texture and then make sure you click on the color grid. And there's what we have so far, guys. So you basically rinse and repeat this process until you get everything you're happy with. Here's the roof. I think I'm gonna make the roof like a red. That that sounds like a good idea anyways. So let me go ahead and tab. There we go. Now, these are different pieces here. So I wonder, okay, I, I would have to deselect them individually like this. And I think I'm gonna do it. So I'll be back when I get all of this stuff. De oh gosh. All right, never mind, guys. I I'm just gonna keep it all as one. So click A get everything lined up i'm gonna press one just so we're on a nice even level and then we're gonna press u project from view and this is what we got we're gonna click a over here and then s to scale and we're gonna drag this over to i think i want to actually go like weird mythical type stuff okay this is for the game i've been streaming the development on so i do want to go kind of cool with it let's go something like this i think that'll be pretty cool boom new image texture nice click on this color grid there we go a very nice purple gradient we got going on there uh i may or may not go back and redo these into a different one the modeler who made this building for me um they could have separated those i'm just saying <laughs> but it's okay that they didn't so up next we have all of these let's go back into object mode click on all of these wood pillars and only the wood pillars all right so it looks like we have all of them uh, I could probably even do the doors and windows as well. So I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and do the doors and windows too. So it's just very consistent. And these, like I'm going to have to grab those too because those are made of wood. Oh, snap. All right. Okay, there we go. I think we have everything. So now, oh wait, there's one more. <laughs> now what we're going to do is press one go into edit mode and as you can see we have a mess absolutely don't know what's going on so we're gonna do u project from view and now we got something we can kind of read i'm gonna shrink these down and put them right here i think that'll be pretty good new 
image texture, click on color grid. Now, you're gonna notice, hey bro, it probably only did one thing and it picked to do that. So, we have to kind of go in for everything else now. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> but it will all be placed, so it won't really be that bad. Um, and I might just be able to do it like this, click on it, and then go through. You shouldn't even have to go into edit mode and everything like that, just image texture, and then click where you want it to be, and everything should already be placed. Alright guys, so I believe we got done with all of the wood pieces. Ah, we missed this window, so we'll just real quick do that. Go to base color, click the circle, image texture, perfect, color grid, nice, there we go. Now, we have all of the wood parts done in this little thing. I'm pretty stoked with it, and guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and run through the rest. I bet by now it'll be getting pretty repetitive on, you know, what you have to do. So, it's just clicking each object and doing them individually, uh, but you can line them all up at first like I do. Alright guys, so we just finished texturing up the building, let me go ahead and show you. Here's what we got, okay? Now it's pretty dark, a dark theme overall, and I might change the actual body part of the building uh, sometime. I don't quite know what color though, so if I go right here, uh, I'll just place this like this, and um, I can drag this around, but I genuinely don't know like the best color for it. Blue doesn't really work because it's like a medieval type thing, but it's also like I'm going for like a wizardy type vibe as well. So I just thought like a darker color would work well. Um, we might be able to lighten it up to like this, maybe. Uh, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Okay, <laughs> but you know what? Yeah, I kind of like this. I kind of like this, so I'm going to keep it like that. Boom! That is how you texture big models, though. Just break it up piece by piece, and anything that's going to be textured the same color, uh, I'd recommend joining them. Uh, for example, like these bricks, I had to join those. Uh, this and this can be joined, and yeah, that's going to wrap up this video, though, guys. I Hopefully, it did help you out. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy the rest of your day. Later.